What I'm going to do in this quick video is show you how simple it is to use our five star review app. All you will do is open it up on whichever device you want to have it on. You can have it on a cell phone, a tablet, you can have it on a laptop, on a desktop computer, any device that gets the internet. The address is what runs this. So you can put it on multiple just the same way that you can pull up a website on multiple devices at one time, you can pull up this app on multiple devices. So that means that you could actually have several employees that were using this simultaneously with different customers to get uh, reviews and feedback. So all you do is put in, you can put in just their, you can put in just their first name if you want. Uh, in this case, I put in my name, uh, first and last name. It went ahead and pre-populated my email. You can put in the email if you want. You don't have to. The main thing that you want is this cell phone number right here. You want to put in their cell phone number because we want this to go to their phone. Because if it goes to their phone, uh, they're probably going to deal with it. If we send it to an email address, it's probably just going to be lost. It's not nearly as reliable as going to their phone. So. Uh, all you have to do, you put in their name and their cell number, and you hit this, and you're finished. It does everything else it does completely on its own. So a text message just got sent. And uh, what that looks like on the other end, when it shows up on the customer's phone, it looks like this. They get a text message, and it just says, in this case, thanks for doing business with the closet. Please tell us about your experience. And it has a link. Now, here's the interesting thing about this. I'm going to click this link. And uh, I'm going to show you what's on the other side of this link when I click it. One thing I want to note is that this gets sent when you input this. But if they don't click on this link, let's say that something happens, they're walking out, they're carrying something, they're on a call. Something happens when this comes through, but they don't click on this link and go follow and take action at that point. This system actually waits a day and it sends this exact same text message again. If they don't take action that time, it actually waits three days, and it sends another with a little note that it's a reminder that they need to deal with uh, clicking this link and because we really need their feedback. If they don't click it that time, it waits seven days, and it sends it one last time. So that's a really neat thing about it. This system actually follows up. It, it sends it the first time, and then it follows up three times if they don't deal with it. So. That's why you're very likely to end up getting a review because they're not going to forget it. At some point, they're going to see this and they're going to go ahead and deal with it. So what they get on their cell phone actually looks like this. So when they click that link, it's going to go through and um, it'll be condensed for mobile friendly. This is on a laptop, so it looks a little different. But it will have their name, whatever you put in, uh, the extent of their name, email, and cell phone, the, that you put in will already be there. It will be pre-populated. So over here it shows that there are some other people that have already left five-star reviews. So that's comforting. They know that they have company. Um, and now we drop down and we have the first question, how is your service? And we can change these up. We can change them to how did you hear about us. We can list TV, newspaper, whatever forms of advertising they use. We can list it that way. But on this one, I'll just say excellent. Then um, how likely are you to refer us to a friend? They have definitely, maybe, and never that they can choose from. If they hit definitely, that means they're definitely going to refer you. You may want to go ahead and ask them if they have someone in mind that uh, might want to be your customer also. So they drop here and they hit the five stars normally. So then they hit last step. It says click to continue. If you notice, now remember this will be on their cell phone most likely, but um, no matter how it comes through, this will be flashing. This will be flashing. Leave Google review now. Now remember, you told them you were going to send a feedback request along with a review request. So uh, they're probably going to go ahead and click this. So if they click this, it blinks for a second, and it comes through, and it goes straight to this business's Google page. I am at the Google review page. I didn't have to do anything. Now, you, they do have to be logged into a Google account, either a Gmail or some type of Google service because Google does want to know that they are a real person that's actually registered with Google. But other than that, and most people are, most people are logged into something. They hit the five stars. And I'm not going to click this right now because it wouldn't be uh, fair according to the rules of Google. But if I hit post, that would be a five star review right now. So that's how it works.